Hi, my name is Bethel. Welcome to True Spirit TV, your number one channel where you get to strengthen your faith in Christ. Are you a believer but you're new to the world? You want to get to know God the more and you want to strengthen your faith in Christ? You're welcome. Are you a believer but then your services in your daily life to meet ends meet are not balancing up? You want to balance them up while you remain a faithful person in Christ? You're welcome. Please subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for more updates. Thank you. Bless the authorities here. Yeah. Let it be well with them. Yeah. Prosper their ministry. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Well, let someone shout hallelujah. <clears throat> And then before you sit down, I know you love to sit very well in America. <laughs> we don't mind standing for long in Nigeria. Uh, maybe our legs are stronger. <laughs> I want you to prophesy to one or two people and say, darkness will leave you alone from now on. <laughs> Glory be to God. And then you may please be seated. God bless you. My own assignment is to just bring you a father's blessing. Um, <laughs> you have had some very serious preaching tonight. I mean, who is going to ask a pastor to preach after an apostle has spoken? <laughs> God bless you, sir. <laughs> that was great. And my young son who started the, who started the ball rolling, that was good too. That was good. And uh, I will be failing my duty if I don't acknowledge that the choir too have been good. Yeah, I did. All right. You need to appreciate the ministry of the choir. They spend countless hours rehearsing. Uh, while we were busy doing something else, they, they are busy preparing. What they present in minutes, they have prepared for it for hours and days. Let's give the Lord a big round of applause for this. <laughs> John chapter 9 from verse 1 to 7. John 9, from verse 1 to 7. I just want to prepare you for what God is about to do very, very soon. John 9, from verse 1 to 7. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. Uh, that man had had problems. His problem started even before he was born. He came into the world blind. Like someone said, he came to the world in a hurry. He didn't wait for eyes. <laughs> it was when he got there that he discovered that he made a mistake. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? His case had become a matter of theological discussion. Uh, and there might be one or two people who are here, and people already discussing you. Uh, already saying, where is your God? 
be the first to go to church. Everybody around knows you as Mama Adura, Papa Church, and yet look at your life. As the Lord God who sent me lives, in the life of someone today, the works of God will be made manifest. <laughs> Jesus continued, he said, I must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can walk. As long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spiritual, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. When God touches clay, he becomes anointed. The very ground you are sitting on tonight is already anointed. Yeah. And Jesus said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent. He went his way therefore and washed and came seeing. Tonight I just want to talk to you. I think they gave me 10 minutes. <laughs> the one who's holding the microphone is the one in charge. <laughs> So if they say 10 minutes and uh, 10 minutes becomes 20, uh, I'm not sure even the chairman is bold enough to come and take the mic. <laughs> Tonight is Father's Day, so I have a right. <laughs> I have a right to decree to all my children, it shall be well with you. I have a right to bless you on credit. <laughs> I bless you first and then you pay for it later. That's the American way of life, is that not so? When the light of God passes your way, the first thing you can expect is that every generational curse in your life will be destroyed. Yeah. You see, because they asked the question, who sinned? You see, the parents of this fellow that has brought this problem upon him. Because when the father sins, the children can be partakers of the repercussions. Second King chapter five from verse Hi, my name is Bethel. Welcome to True Spirit TV, your number one channel where you get to strengthen your faith in Christ. Are you a believer but you're new to the world? You want to get to know God the more and you want to strengthen your faith in Christ? You're welcome. Are you a believer but then your services in your daily life to meet ends meet are not balancing up? You want to balance them up while you remain a faithful person in Christ? You're welcome. Please subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for more updates. Thank you.